Creek Cruise. We are here at Mickey D's on the Creeper Cruiser in the drive-thru. Seeing if I can order a coffee, but I might just pull up here to the window because I guess they're not taking orders from the drive-thru. Usually they let me do it at the box, but maybe I can order here. Hi. <laughs> Did I surprise you on the bike? Yeah, I saw the shadow. Oh, okay. Can I just get a coffee from you? Yeah. Just like large with four and four, please. You guys are rock stars being here this early too, by the way. I, I come in at four. Oh my gosh, so this is like late for you. Thank you so much. Awesome. All right. We're gonna pick up our coffee here. They were cool with it. And there it is. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome for letting me come through on the bike. Okay. I won't video unless you want me to. You don't mind? Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. You know what? This week is hashtag, you know, thank you for the all the great employees and everybody. So thank you so much. And this is the Gresham one, you guys. Uh, what, what address? Gre uh, Burnside. Yeah, Burnside. All right, guys. Thank you. I got to get out of the line here. I'm blocking the whole thing. See you guys. <laughs> Get old Mickey D's. Success. Good way to start the morning off. It's going to be a hot one too. So I'm glad I got up early. Got some coffee. I'm just going to do some random creeping. It's going to be a little warm today, so I don't know how long we're going to be able to stay out in the elements, but it's going to be a good one. So stay tuned. We're doing a little creeping. Well, they're not open quite yet, but I do want to come in here at some point and check out their baskets. I want to try and get a basket for the front of this so that when I am carrying my stuff and I don't have my backpack, I can just kind of throw my stuff in the, in the basket here. And then they also make a piece for the back fender that kind of, kind of goes over the back fender, but I'm guessing I'd probably be better to just get the basket and then lock it on here too but yeah gresham bike they've been here for a while a while they were actually uh for years over in the other complex there, closer to the library but they've been here probably the last i'd say 10 15 years and uh you're gonna go in here and check out the prices when they are open but i'm also gonna check out like walmart and stuff too but i wanted to show you guys this right downtown gresham here if you ever are riding around and something happens to your bike or whatever you can come in here and they'll take care of you so yeah, I'm gonna try and mount it to the front here. And that way when I'm carrying stuff, it'll be a lot easier for me to, to carry. We'll check back. Yeah, it is beautiful. And I'm noticing right here at the community gardens. Whew, excuse me. We got some corn coming in and some also, some other veggies too, but I'm also seeing some pumpkins back in there also so that's pretty cool these folks over here are doing some Tai Chi in the parking lot but check it out we got a little bit of punky action and I always like seeing the corn definitely the fall vibes kind of interesting too how the flowers are the same color as what the pumpkins will be a little baby one down in there but yeah we got some tai chi action in the morning very nice yeah it's nice that they kept this community garden I know that some of this land is for sale so I was hoping that you know most of this would stay as you can see it's big it goes all the way down to the very end here of different veggies and whatnot and I'm pretty sure they use most of this to feed folks with so yep the corn is coming in good
look like they're quite open yet because it does have, still have the coming soon here. But we got Halloween City. Wow, this guy's cutting this concrete over here too. But I love seeing the big pumpy. Wow. No joke. Alright, so they're not quite open. But it looks like soon enough. That was pretty wild too, seeing him cut that concrete. But yeah, they should be open soon. I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Next, we're going to head in here to the Gresham Library and check out their DVDs, see if there's any good ones. Whenever I come in here, too, I always get kind of the shining vibes from their carpet. But I want to check out their horror section because they did have a few that I saw last time that I was hoping might still be here. One was Doctor Sleep, and of course, I'm still waiting on the Batman movie as well. Check over here in the Blu-ray and see what they got. The Walking Innocent Blood. Yeah, I don't see it. I was also looking for a Jeepers Creepers. But I'm not seeing that either, so if you do see something in the, when you're looking, make sure you grab it because they do go fast. But they do have a pretty big selection, so you can probably always find something else. All right, so I found one that looks pretty good. I don't think I've seen this in a long time, if I've even seen it. I really don't remember it. I obviously remember doing the first one, seeing the first one because we did the movie locations as well. But then again, they also have Dick Tracy here. I think I might go with Dick Tracy. Kind of a win-win, but it's been a long time since I've seen this too, and I don't think my nephews have seen this. I think I'm gonna pick up Dick Tracy. It's a good one. All right, just got Dick Tracy, put it in the bag here. And my nephews haven't seen it yet, so it's gonna be a good one. And I do always like this little area in here where I've gotten some really great info a lot of the community uh, posts the flyers here letting people know about events and activities and all the different you know publications so you can come here and kind of check out different concerts and things that are happening around town so success still waiting on Batman but was able to get Dick Tracy and uh yeah, one of the librarians actually watches the channel, so that was really nice for her to say hello. As I was giving her the library card, she kind of looked at me and she said, Are you the creeper? <laughs> I sure am. I gotta start wearing a disguise kit. No, but they are very helpful here. And like I said, it does take a while sometimes if you place an order, but they do have the system where they can check and kind of tell you when it's been, you know, how long it's been out and should be back soon so thank you very much to the gresham library absolutely perfect out right now i love this time of the year a little crisp oh yeah feels great All right, next stop, Walmart. Gotta get some coffee. 
I know they have some pumpkin stuff too, so let's check it out. Nice, check it out, you guys. They actually have pumpkin spice in. Heck yeah. This is kind of like the great value version there, you know, the Walmart brand. And also, Starbucks has theirs in. But it's a little bit pricier. Well, not a little bit, a lot of bit. <laughs> I know it is the limited edition, so it probably does taste a little better. But for $4.98 for the pumpkin spice, this will be really good. I'm excited to see this and a little cream in there. Yeah, heck yeah. Fall is coming in. All right, found this nice little shaded bench area here on the trail to kind of chill out for a second on our way back when I wanted to show you I did get some coffee and I bought a Franz cherry fruit pie and one of the great value lasagnas which is really good and then check this out they actually have these little festive pumpkin cookies so I'm gonna sit here for a minute and have a little bit of sugar cookie get you in the fall mood Get a little piece of this sugar cookie here. Mm. That's pretty good. Mm. Trying to cut back on the sugar, which sounds funny eating a sugar cookie. But instead of buying an entire package of sugar, I figured I would just have little bits of this with my coffee. And the morning kind of balances it out. Not a pumpkin flavor, it's basically just sugar. So I'm guessing just little bites of this with the coffee and a little creamer will be just fine. Instead of putting so much coffee, or I'm sorry, so much sugar in my coffee. Yep. And then this happened. You guys can vaguely see there. I dropped it. But luckily it still works, kinda. Some of the stuff I can't type. I have to I have to use the voice, you know, the little speaker. Which is fine. I'm just glad that it didn't fully fully break, but new phone already seen. Already seen better days. I was just happy that it wasn't the camera so hey you win some you lose some but I did get 20% off spirit so that's cool that's going to do it for today if you guys are new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button that'll dial you into being a creeper today you can also do me one better and ring that bell that way when I creep you guys will be the first to creep and if you did enjoy this make sure you give it a thumbs up till next time creeper out for now peace